This entire series has been carried along because you have been awesome. Thank you for engaging such challenging and life-changing strategies based on God's Word. Thank you for your sweet encouragement, sharing what you've been working on. Thank you for just being all around courageous, motivated, and beautiful people. But alas, I'm going to have to call it because we've got other projects to attend to, which hopefully will be coming relatively soon. Just today, I got word that Soul Healing has been translated into Arabic. However, though we're ending these videos, please don't end the work. It's life-changing. It truly is. Research, science, and the Bible all back it up. And God is with you, working in you to will and to act according to His good purposes, His Word says. So the scripture that I knew that I wanted to end on is God's amazing and helpful love to us is recorded in Galatians 6, 7, 9. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to, spirit, sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. So let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. What sets the tone in this passage is the God cannot be mocked phrase. In the original language, there's a tone of do not mess with this principle. Do not minimize or jack with this truth. You can't plant an apple seed and grow pumpkins. Do not doubt the intractable nature of the sowing and reaping principle. Don't mock God's clear truth and way in this. It always happens. You will reap what you sow. How much more so the thoughts of your mind? If you're stewing on bitterness or shallowness or some other such fleshly foray, your life will be characterized by anger and small-mindedness in some form. If you think about, focus on, and meditate on the things of God, you will reap the things of God. Faith, love, hope, and peace. They're not just magically going to be a part of your life. You have to hold them close. So thinking about this Galatians passage in Romans 7 where Paul talks about a struggle with the flesh and the spirit within, it's as though we all have two little fires within us. And our choices and our will are like lighter fluid. Where you focus your thoughts is lighter fluid. So keep sowing to the things of God. Keep squirting that lighter fluid on the truths of faith and things of love and light. As we have learned in our work, repetition is very powerful in the brain. Over and over and over, see, hear, ink, feel, and think those new thoughts. They will take root. They will become your new belief and your behavior and your feelings will flow from the thoughts you're cultivating. Don't doubt it. Don't mock God the one who made neuroplasticity and neural pathways and tells us we can be transformed through them. Instead, just keep at it. Keep catching and replacing that old thought. Keep nurturing that new thought. Don't give up because it's hard or you're tired or you don't feel differently yet. Why? Because you will reap a harvest of new thoughts and resultant consequences. Dear soul sturdying shifter, let's commit together to not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. You will reap a harvest of this work in your brain if you do not give up. He promises. I oh, love and appreciate you so much. Amazing shifty friends. You have shifted by summer and you are going to keep going because we are committing to this. It will work. Keep going. Keep going. Love you. Miss you. See you soon.